welcome to our first concept TV. Headline, Frost frustrated Nigerian youth shown no mercy review plan to totally shut down Nigeria. Some angry Nigerian youth who are students in tertiary institutions across the country have re- revealed their plans to shut down the entire country with a once in a lifetime nationwide protest. According to reports, the youth under the National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, called on President Bola Tunubu to, as a matter of urgency, stop the government owned institutions across the country from increasing their school fees, stressing that failed to call them to university authorities to order will cripple the, co- the country's economy. Students condemned the increment in the tuition fee of the University of Lagos in the lag at Coca and the plan by other universities to do the same. They called for the immediate um, reversal of the hike, stating that they are ready to stay on the street protesting until their demands are met. The Independent reported that the student made this known in a statement made available by its public relations officer Giwa Temitokwe on Saturday. Students said it is most ridiculous that the government will be introducing fees, fees increments without thinking of rescuing the over 133 million Nigerians out of multiple dimensional poverty they are in. Adding that to us, increments in school fees will complicate the poverty condition of most parents and students and also increase the number of out of school children in the country. Before now, some students couldn't afford the fees and various other levy, and because of that, dropped out of school and when and what would not happen to students who are sponsoring themselves and their parents who have more than one child in school. They condemned the recent student loan bill signed by President, stating that it was signed to lure Nigerians into accepting unreasonable increments in school fee across the country. In fact, the student loan that was introduced by the federal government is nothing but a sham and a bit to lure Nigerians, pe- Nigerian people into accepting increments in fees payments, they said. I think that beyond the fact that the term of the loan are ridiculous, history has taught us that not every applicant will be considered. Some angry Nigerian youth who are students in tertiary institutions across the country have re- revealed their plans to shut down the entire country with a once in a lifetime nationwide protest. According to reports, the youth under the National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, called on President Bola Tunubu to, as a matter of urgency, stop the government owned institutions across the country from increasing their school fees, stressing that failed to call them to university authorities to order will cripple the, co- the country's economy. Students condemned the increment in the tuition fee of the University of Lagos in the lag at Coca and the plan by other universities to do the same. They called for the immediate um, reversal of the hike, stating that they are ready to stay on the street protesting until their demands are met. The Independent reported that the student made this known in a statement made available by its public relations officer Giwa Temitokwe on Saturday. Students said it is most ridiculous that the government will be introducing fees, fees increments without thinking of rescuing the over 133 million Nigerians out of multiple dimensional poverty they are in. Adding that to us, increments in school fees will complicate the poverty condition of most parents and students and also increase the number of out of school children in the country. Before now, some students couldn't afford the fees and various other levy, and because of that, dropped out of school and when and what would not happen to students who are sponsoring themselves and their parents who have more than one child in school. They condemned the recent student loan bill signed by President, stating that it was signed to lure Nigerians into accepting unreasonable increments in school fee across the country. In fact, the student loan that was introduced by the federal government is nothing but a sham and a bit to lure Nigerians, pe- Nigerian people into accepting increments in fees payments, they said. I think that beyond the fact that the term of the loan are ridiculous, history has taught us that not every applicant will be considered. All right, viewers, you have listened to today's news. Um, the headline says, Frustrated Nigerian Youth Show No Mercy. Reveal plan to totally shut down Nigeria. Woo! Now, I, was, I and somebody was actually discussing today, and she was like, um, that schools have increased their fee from 20-something to 100-something. And, and I'm like, excuse you? excuse you but seriously seriously how can the government how can sorry how can schools increase um school fees just like that how do you expect parents to cope you know most parents might have planned 
on how they will want to pay their children's school fees, how they will want to because already have in mind okay this is the amount we are going to be paying for every term they've already planned it know how to go about it now you adding times 10 to what they are going to pay is really really painful and um it's like a fraud it's like a fraud and a lot of people would they're saying that we have a lot of dropout with this whole increment, lots of people are going to draw out. A lot of people that are that are sponsoring themselves. Is it that they don't want people to go to school anymore to have education, or is it that they, I don't understand? And the the the, the loan that the president signed is is to me, I am not totally in support of it because all the all the all the conditions that you need to meet is really really not good. The one that I could really remember was the one that where they said um the person that is going to sign for you must be a civil servant, must work in government office, must have some experience, must have spent some years in government. How do you expect how many parents are working how many people uh, how many parents are working in government office? How many parents? How many? You listening to me are even working in government office? Only very few, very little are working, have the opportunity to work in government office. Some are already managing their own um, personal business, trying to earn a living and to survive. They are saying that the only way for you to give them, grant them that loan is by um, placing some kind of ridiculous um, criteria. Because I see those criteria as, 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 as ridiculous. It's really not cool. This increment is only going to kill and cripple because students are really, really angry. Imagine increasing school fees. Who does that? Somebody here says, the only solution is to do the same thing that happens in Ghana years back. Please, youth. Somebody here says, one Nigeria. Somebody here says, um, we, we, we are Yoruba shame. Okay. Somebody here says, may God bless our youth. They made a point here. Somebody here says, Youth should stand up. That is all. Somebody says, let's go our separate ways so that those that need development can go ahead and develop their region. Somebody here says, I pray this way the student union holds on to their words. Completely shut down Nigeria and reject the student loan. What exactly is the loan to students? Please ask one million naira bursary for every student in public university annually. The government can pay it. If they can pay federal legislators seven billion naira for hardship allowance, let's hope the students are serious this time. Oh, this country and the whole drama in Nigeria can make somebody even think of a movie to act. Serious, Nigeria can give inspiration on the kind of film to act. I pray that the government is going to listen to students and do something and they reduce the, reduce the price of school fees. Alright, viewers, we have come to today's news. Please wait about the comment section. Let us know what your views are. Thank you for listening.